Okay. Doug, uh, let's go to, well, let's first, we got Char back on the phone. Hello, Char. Hi. Hi. Well, how's my beautiful partner doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. Okay. Okay, glad to talk to you. Okay, oh, now. It's cool. It's hot here. <laughs> okay, so you're taking plenty of rebound. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Drink that rebound, girl. I got it sitting right here on my desk. Okay, good girl. Okay, now, uh, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Santa Ana, California, and Cheryl Lynn, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Cheryl Lynn, you're on the air. Booyah, Dr. Wallach, how are you today? All right, booyah. What's up? I am sitting here with a young friend of mine. She's 38 and suffers from a load of stuff. When she was 21, after the birth of her second child, she was diagnosed with lupus. Then in uh, 2000, January of 2012, she had her larynx was paralyzed, so they put in a tracheotomy and a feeding tube. They took that out in November. In December, they diagnosed her with, with MS. And so she's got shortness of breath, pain all over her. All five senses are shutting down. Her right leg is paralyzed. She's got a lung infection, a blood infection. She can't eat or swallow food. She barely eats through a protein drink a day and then gets sick and throws it up or has diarrhea or both. Uh, she can't control her body, so she's and she's had no periods for two months. She's not sleeping. Um, she's got edema and black, blackouts. Okay, does she have any skin problems in all this? No, her skin looks great. Okay, what about um, um, before she had all this stuff, did she have asthma? No, never, she said. Okay, does she have any children? She has two. Okay, and do they have any health problems? No, they're fine. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Any siblings? Any any health problems there? What do you have? <clears throat> okay, a sister who's got uh, obesity, high thyroid, and high blood pressure, and just had a gastric bypass. Okay, and the other one, the other, other sibling? The other sibling is fine. Other sibling is fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, anytime you have this many diseases, Char, what do you think? It's got to be a gluten intolerance. It has to be. Yep. Because you can't absorb nutrients, and so it's not unusual. There's no law that says that you can't have 25 diseases. I mean, Char, you've seen people with how many diseases? Uh, lady in Canada, 22 diagnosed diseases. Yeah, when they, they have 22 diagnosed diseases, they're seeing eight or ten or twelve different specialists from 27 different medications. And it's basically, as Cheryl pointed out, a gluten intolerance. And so, first thing both these ladies got to do is get on a gluten-free diet and hang on. We'll come back. We'll give you a program for her after these messages. Okay, Doug, uh, let's go right back to California and Cheryl Lynn. Um, Cheryl Lynn, uh, you may have said this, but uh, remind me, how much does your 38-year-old friend weigh? 106 pounds, and I just went over, she, all she's been drinking is a protein powder drink, and the two she has are both gluten-free. She's been on them for about a month, so. Okay, good. So we're heading the right direction. Now, what I wanted to do is um, we have a wonderful protein drink. It's called Slender Effects Weight Management System, but if you make it with heavy whipping cream and throw a couple of eggs in there and whip it up real good and put it in the freezer and make an ice cream out of it. Let her have a couple of spoons of ice cream, you know, like every half hour or as, as rapidly as she wants to go. And because it's got high-quality proteins from the whey, maybe even the soy and the egg protein and so forth, and um, it's just very good. Plus, she'll be getting plenty of calories from the 100% um, heavy whipping cream instead of water. Uh, she should begin to gain some weight. And usually people who don't feel good will eat ice cream and hold that down when they can't eat anything else. For drinking, I want her to drink the Rebound, and she can have as much of that as she wants during the day. Uh, mix, um, um, before we get the canned drinks, you want to go ahead and uh, put the two of those sticks, these little pouches, tear them open, put two of those in 16 ounces of water, and let her sip on that. When that's gone, give her another one. When that's gone, give her another one. Uh, she could have four to six of those servings a day. It's going to give her a lot of nutrients, very, very water-soluble. It tastes good, and... Um, she won't have a problem with it. Also, uh wouldn't hurt her to get the uh, um, Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, you go ahead and mix her up a uh, regular standard adult dose, which is uh, for 100 pounds of body weight. I'd give her two scoops in 
again, 10, 12 ounces of water. And you can chill that and, and even put it in the freezer, make a little slushy, and she can kind of sip on that a little bit. And again, if she even just drinks a half a teaspoon every half hour, uh, that's better than nothing. She does need some EFAs. She needs some of our EFAs or EFA pluses because she needs to reduce her risk of stroke, um, especially since she has MS. Uh, so we need her to take in those EFAs. I want her, her body weight to take in, uh, say, six a day. So you have two, three times a day or three twice a day or one every hour for six hours. However she wants to do it, they're soft gel capsules. She can either chew them up, swallow them, or poke them and put them in the, the ice cream she's going to make. And then, specifically, for the MS, I want her to do two things. Uh, number one, I want her to take in selenium. She's got to take in four of our selenium a day at 100 pounds, and she can open them up, put the selenium powder in the ice cream, or she can open them up, put, put the powder from two capsules and a tablespoon of, of uh, applesauce. She could do that. But I want her to have four of our selenium uh, capsules a day, and that's to support the antioxidant power of the um, glutathione, and that will, in fact, uh, help with those plaques in the brain from the MS and maybe relieve some of the problems there. Uh, I do want her to also have our smart effects, which are the DHA and EPAs, which are the raw materials for the neurons of the brain to make neurotransmitters for healthy brain function, for motor function, as well as memory and cognition problem solving. Uh, with the extra protein, the edema is going to go away, and um, everything else you can help her with the lupus. Can you call these two? We'll walk you through